Welcome back. Well, we just told you some ways to stay active while you're at home. Now we're exploring something to do on your downtime. That's reading. That's right. So I plan to talk about exercising at home with Pamela Hernandez, who you just heard from. She's a personal trainer, but she's also she also has a podcast and also has a blog, and she talks a lot about exercising, food, but she also talks about books. So turns out she runs a book club too at her gym. So I talked to her about some ideas and some of her suggestions on what you should have on your to read list. So for some tips, people are staying at home trying to read more. It's one of those things we always say we're going to do more of, right? I want to read more. This is, might be the perfect time to do it. Uh, what are some tips you have for someone who is starting out? Should you have a bunch of books on your list? Do you pick one and start, start out with that one? What would you say? Well, as a, a book lover for all of my life, I say you should always have plenty on your TBR, your TB read list. If reading is something that's fallen off of your list, now is a great time to either really get into it with something fun or maybe you want to do something sort of personal development. I've, I've talked to a lot of people about, you know, being a setting a 90 day goal and kind of really kind of working on being the best version of themselves in the next 90 days. And, and maybe by then we'll be on the other side of all of this. Um, so there's a lot to choose from. Um, so, for example, if you are really just you, you haven't been reading in the past because of work and life obligations and you really find yourself with some time and you just want to escape. There's a series that I have yet to find anybody that I've recommended that doesn't like it. And it's a mystery series by Louise Penny. Um, it's, it's based around a char character called Inspector Gamache. And it's set in a little tiny village called Three Pines in Canada. And it's very cozy and lovely and not gory. So if you're kind of worried about like excess violence, that's definitely not that kind of mystery. Leaning towards the cozy mystery on it more so. So that would be the one, as you said before, for someone who is trying to escape and go into a different reality. Different reality. The first one in the series is called Still Life, and you can you can hopefully get it on, I was going to say, from our libraries. Unfortunately, our physical libraries are closed, but audio versions are available, and you know, I know a lot of our local bookstores, that's a popular, it's popular author, so hopefully you can find one online or one of our local bookstores. What are some of your favorites when it comes to personal development books? I am a big fan of things around habits and time management. So probably the one that I would say almost everybody needs to read is a book called Better Than Before by Gretchen Rubin. I love her. I love her. I love her podcast. Um, I've read almost all of her books, but that's the one that I reference a lot and recommend to people a lot when they're really trying to figure out how to form new habits, to stay motivated. In, in a way that is common sense and works for them because we're all different. We're all motivated in different ways. And she has a framework called the four tendencies that really kind of helps you figure out what your sort of um, best way to, to find motivation and accountability is. Yeah, that's right. So Gretchen Rubin is also from Kansas City. I learned by listening to her podcast too, which yes. is also great, uh, better than before. I put that one on my list. Um, any other ones? Well, so I we so I have a book club in the gym. We have a book club, and over the winter we read a book called Prairie Fires, which is an autobiography. Or I'm sorry, a biography of Laura Ingalls Wilder. And so there's been a lot of talk about that lately as well. I think kind of a lot of people are sort of thinking about okay, how did they do things before the internet, and how did we entertain ourselves before we had Netflix? And so not only is it a little bit of local history. Um, but it's also sort of a, a little nostalgic peak and kind of talks about the stuff behind the Little House series. So for those of us who grew up reading those books, the real story behind that. So that, that one will definitely keep you involved. It's a little bit of a big, big read, um, but it's really interesting if you like local history and you're kind of thinking, okay, you know, you know how can I keep myself entertained right now? Um, you also mentioned some books about learning something new. If you're interested in uh, learning something different that you might not have read about or known about, what are some of your uh, tips on that, your suggestions? Uh, let's see. Well, you, so learning something new right now. I'm kind of scanning my bookshelf because books are always around me. Uh, <laughs> I would say a really great skill to learn right now would be... 
mindfulness meditation. Um, that's probably a little more on the, per the, the um, personal development side, but um, wherever you go, there you are is a great title if that's something that you're looking to learn more about. Um, I am also a big fan of tea. And so there are some wonderful books. I'm actually looking at the art of craft of tea right now. So if you really want to learn a little bit more about the art and science behind tea, that's kind of a fun subject and something that you can you can get your hands on through through the mail. I don't think there's a shortage yet. So that's something you could kind of play and have your own tasting at home. What do you what do you think about audiobooks as opposed to reading a physical book? You know, reading with your ears is just as good as reading with your eyes. Okay, great to hear. I do love <laughs> audiobooks and some great tips. Again, Pamela Hernandez, thank you so much for being with us, personal trainer, health coach, and also book lover. Thank you so much for your suggestions and tips. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.